Welcome back. The American coal industry is suffering. Prices are plummeting along with global demand for coal. And now the U.S. state of Wyoming is looking towards Asia for help. CCTV's Hendrik Sibrandi has more. It's called the PRB. Powder River Basin is one of the sort of great coal mining regions of the world. It covers a big stretch of northeast Wyoming. Very low sulfur, very low ash, very high quality coal. Cloud Peak Energy is one of the PRB's main players, the third largest coal producer in America. Cloud Peak sells thermal coal to electric utilities, mostly in the middle of the U.S. Its coal seams are thicker and closer to the surface, according to company official Jim Orchard. Uh, it is an ideal setup. Exports make up 5% of Cloud Peak Energy's production. Cloud Peak shipped 86 million tons of coal to its customers last year, but just 4 million of those tons were exported to Asian countries like South Korea and Japan. The company wants to boost that number significantly. And so does Wyoming, which has relied on the coal industry for years. There's plenty of product here and rail cars to get that product to port. Uh, the bottleneck is, is, is coal terminal capacity. So now Wyoming wants to build two export terminals along the Pacific Ocean in the U.S. state of Washington. And we're fortunate. Wyoming Governor Matt Mead says developing countries in Asia could use what coal companies have to offer. Coal is so abundant and is so affordable that it is good for the world economy to have an affordable energy source. I'm frankly skeptical. But the University of Colorado Law School's Mark Squalacci says the price of coal and demand for coal have actually dropped in Asia. He says concerns over climate change have pushed some countries away from coal and that Indonesia and Australia are better positioned to supply Asia the coal it needs. And so it seems unlikely that Wyoming is going to be successful in penetrating that market in a significant way. He believes with all the competition from other energy sources, coal is not the future for electricity generation. Orchard disagrees. But we certainly see coal continuing to be a major part of the generation mix. Wyoming is betting that's true. An environmental review of the Washington terminals is now underway. Mead predicts this project will become reality in the next three or four years. I believe that is so. We are going to get more Wyoming coal to Asia. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Douglas, Wyoming. And U.S. coal isn't the only fuel heading east. China is investing heavily in methanol as the clean fuel of the future. Yuhan Chemical is spending $2 billion on a methanol plant in the U.S. state of Louisiana. The company is taking advantage of cheap American natural gas to make the fuel for vehicles in China. Methanol is cheaper and pollutes less than traditional gasoline. The company's chief executive says the growth of methanol as a fuel in China is a good opportunity for the U.S. We actually bought 1,300 acres of land, which is very large. So our ambition certainly is not going to stop on the first phase of a single methanol plant. We are ambitious to build a major chemical complex there. 